my name is Lexi Jong, and here I like to talk about luxury makeup. And every other Sunday, we have a series called Nailed It with a Question Mark, where we use a photo for inspiration and try to recreate this. So this week, you know, all of the participants are listed down below in the description box. And this week's look features pistachio eyeshadow and more of these like plum wine kind of shades on the lips and the eyeliner. And this is very scary to me. So I went through, I decided I'm going to try to do this look without looking at the picture. So I've looked at it really well right now. And then I'm going to just kind of like commit that to memory. So I went through, those are not really shades I wear too much, but I recently picked up a whole bunch of Vizier Art palettes. This one here is Bohem Dream. And there are also some similar shades in the Grande Pro 2 and Koi. Let me show you those. So here's Koi. You can see you've got kind of these like yellow and greens. And then we've got the Grande Bro 2, which I just picked up. And if you're interested, pick it up from Sephora before it's gone forever. And you can see you've got, again, some of those similar shades. But, you know, I think I'm going to stick just with the Bohem Dream. So we're going to use that on the eyes. And I picked out some other items, you know, to kind of play around with it. To me, it looks like her skin is matte, like a satin matte. And then, you know, she's got some more radiant products on there. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start by applying my primer. So I'm taking the Vizier Eye Primer and I'm just gonna put that on my lids. And then for my face, I'm using the Dior Forever Skin Veil Primer. And my skin's a little dry right now. To be honest, I um, just woke up and I wanted to put this on because, you know, I don't think these are shades I'm going to want to wear all day. So I decided to do it first thing in the morning before I do my skincare or anything. And then I'll take it off afterwards. So I know that doesn't show a lot of faith, but let's be realistic. They're just those shades are not going to work that great with my coloring. So for foundation, I'm going to take the Clay de Poe Radiant Fluid Matte. And I wear shade I-10 and apply this I'm using the Kyoto F04. Okay, and then let's go ahead and we're going to start with the blush. I decided to use the Westman Atelier uh, Baby Chicks Blush Stick. This is Petal, so I'm just going to apply a little bit here and just kind of blend that in with my fingers. So it looks to me like she's got kind of like a pink cream blush on her cheeks. And it looks like the highlight is also a cream variety to me. Next, I'm going to take the Kokendo Brightening Moisture Powder in the Brightening Pink shade. And this is the Giorgio Armani Blush Brush. I'm going to just kind of set this kind of in the T-zone area. Well, I guess it's not really the T-zone, um, but across the cheeks a little bit because it adds, you can see the brightness that it's adding. So I think that's going to like add to the highlight. I'll add a little bit up here also. Right, and then for a little bit of like contour bronzing type thing, I am going to take the Chanel Le Beige Healthy Glow Sheer Powder in N50. This is the Coyoto Acabeco brush. I'm just going to kind of swipe that here underneath the blush just for a soft hint of like bronzer, really. All right, and then for a highlight, I'm taking the Ritual Defeat in Ice Bow. And I'm just gonna use my finger. I'm just gonna apply this right above the blush and kind of curl it just down a little bit around the apple. All 
right, and then before we do the lips, let's go on and start the eyes. So to say I'm a little bit nervous, we're gonna start off with the yellow and put this in the crease. And I'm going to play with the Katie Jane Hughes brush collection right now. So this is brush 10 from her. All right, so there is the yellow base. Next, I'm gonna take the 11 brush into this lighter green, and I'm putting this on the tip of the brush, and I'm gonna put this like on the lower portion of the crease. So kind of going onto the lid for more of a transition. I'm gonna take that 10 brush, and I have wiped it off, and. Just gonna kind of blend those together a little bit. Okay, next I'm going back in with the 11 brush, but this time I'm gonna use the side of it into the brighter green. Okay, so I've got plenty of pigment here and we're gonna put this on the, oh, you know what? This is not the right shade of green. I am going to have to stop using this. I'm just gonna match the eyes real quickly. All right, so I'm just gonna leave that there. I'm gonna go over it, and I think we're gonna go in the Grande Pro 2. I'm gonna go into this greenish yellow shade here. So this one, you know, I think is more sparkly than what is in the photo. So that really looks more satiny than shimmery. just going back in with the 10 brush with no shadow and just making everything making sure everything transitions well I honestly don't remember what the inner corner was looking like but I'm gonna go into this more mustardy shade with the number 18 brush and just put a little bit of that on the inner corner here I'm going to just add a little bit of this like lighter yellow shade here on top of that just to add a little bit more brightness. And then while we have this out, we're going to go ahead and do the lower lash line. So the upper lash line has kind of like this burgundy liquid liner and a wing. And then there's a little bit of burgundy right here. And then the rest of it is more of this like greenish shade. So we're going to take a little bit of the green on the 18 brush. I'm going to put that on the lower lash line. And then we're going to take a burgundy shadow. So using the same brush, I'm going to go into this burgundy up here. So I'm just getting a little bit on the tip and we're going to just push that right here. I'm just going to kind of drag that up a little bit so I know where to go with the liner. So I just wiped off the 18 brush and just gonna kind of blend those two together a little bit. All right, and then for eyeliner, I am going to take the Chanel Laline in number 516. This should be the uh, Rouge Noir. Okay, so they're not the best wings, um, but I think they will do. Actually, I think maybe I need to make them a little bit longer. Okay, they're not the best wings, and I think they should go up a little bit higher, but hers don't, if I remember correctly, they didn't go like super angled. So I don't know, this is probably kind of a little too low still. But let's go ahead and move on. I'm gonna add some black mascara and I'm not gonna wear the false lashes that it looks like she has on, but I'll try to wing those to the side a little bit. So I'm gonna take the Dior Over Curl Mascara and this is just a sample size here. All right, so there's this mascara and then for the brows, Hers are like nicely swooped. You know, they're not like that straight up feathery type thing. They look, they're a little bit more laminated, but you no, know, I think they actually, 
you know, the, the hairs follow the natural curvature instead of being brushed up. So this is the Surat Brow Pomade in light brown. All right, and for lips, I wasn't sure which one to go with. So I've got two Chanel lipsticks here. We have number 637 Camellia Purpura, which is this. And then I also have Chanel 857. It's in the Rouge Allure line. This is Rouge Noble. Okay, they're, they're pretty similar. And then to make it glossy, that I would top it with this. This is the Chanel Gloss in 826. And let's see what these look like with the gloss on top. I mean, honestly, they're, they're fairly similar, but I think Rouge Noble is what we're gonna go with. So I'm taking the Chanel Lip Liner in Brun Carmen. This is 188, let me just sharpen this. All right, so this is my final look up close. And let's take it back. All right, so this is my final look from a distance. What do you think? How did I do, you know, for shades that I don't typically wear? I actually think the eyes turned out okay. The wings definitely could use some improvement but I feel like the lips are pretty spot on. They might have a touch more purple, but uh, I think they are fairly close. So I'd love to know what you guys think. And thank you so much for watching this week. The credit for the photo for this week's inspiration is of course down below in the description box, as are all of the other participants this week, along with their links to their videos. So be sure to check them out. Let me know what you guys think of this look. And if you're interested in participating in this series, just DM me on Instagram. I'm at Alexis Jong. And thank you so much for tuning in. If you like this, please hit the thumbs up sign. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I will see you very soon. Have a great day and stay safe and healthy.